Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be covering some macro events and how much H4 it would take to become a millionaire. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Now, when you look at H4 on the daily time frame, the stochastics are extremely oversold and the RSI is a little bit high, but it's not the end of the world. Now, if you pull a Fibonacci, H4 is currently trading just beneath the golden pocket, which typically is a great accumulation zone. And then in my last H4 video, I drew it in a falling wedge, which break up 68% of the time. Since then, H4 started to break up and recently came back down and is trying to break back into the pattern. What would be a good thing to see is if it bounced off the trend line and used it as support. But keep in mind, H4 and most other cryptocurrencies right now are tied to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin rises, most will rise. If Bitcoin when falls most will fall and to that point i want to show you guys bitcoin on the daily time frame so as i've said in my last several videos i love the fact that bitcoin has extremely oversold stochastics and an oversold rsi however there are also a couple very bearish indicators the first one being that price action just recently broke beneath the 21 day moving average that is typically a very bearish sign coupled with the fact that it's starting to make a potential bart simpson pattern which yet again is also a very bearish pattern now anything is possible in crypto because of the extremely oversold stochastics and rsi I wouldn't be shocked if bitcoin does end up bouncing back up. However, if it does drop in the meantime, I would look for it to come down to that 28,200, 28,100 level, as it has been a really strong support zone in the past. Now, I do also want to show you guys a very bullish indicator in Bitcoin's weekly time frame, which is a much bigger time frame. Now, when you look at the moving averages, the 21 day just recently crossed the 200 day. That is a golden cross. Typically, that signals an explosive move is coming for Bitcoin. And oftentimes, what you will see happen is price action will come down, touch the 21 day moving average, and then bounce off of it as support. But just keep in mind, macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis. So all of a sudden, if it comes out that the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF gets accepted, that could skyrocket Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market. On the contrary, if it comes out that the XRP case gets reversed, that could tank the entire crypto market. So just keep an open mind, realize anything can happen in crypto. Now, the next indicator I want to show you guys is the Bitcoin fear and greed index. As of right now, it's sitting at 52, which is in the neutral zone. However, about a week ago, it was sitting at 56 and it was in the greed region. Now, why measure fear and greed? The crypto market behavior is very emotional. People tend to get greedy when the market is rising, which results in FOMO, fear of missing out. Also, people often sell their coins in irrational reaction of seeing red numbers. With our fear and greed index, we try and save you from your own emotional overreactions. There are two simple assumptions. Extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. That could be a great buying opportunity. However, when investors are too greedy, that means the market could be due for a correction. Now, for me personally, I love buying crypto when it's down in that 15 to 20 region, but most people do not have the same conviction and beliefs in crypto long term that I do. Because when it's down in that region, all you are seeing is articles, Bitcoin's dead, crypto is never going to recover, Bitcoin's going to zero, etc. And it is tough to stomach that sometimes. But the reality is that is when you should be buying crypto. Now, when the numbers start getting up into that 50, 60, 70, 80 region, that's when the general population starts getting into crypto and you start saying, oh, Bitcoin's going to the moon, Bitcoin's going to 250,000, crypto's the future. A bunch of extremely bullish articles. And that's when you need to be cautious that a correction is coming. Now, right now, being at 52, it is in the neutral zone. So it's not too fearful and it's not too greedy. But the point I'm getting at is you guys need to just understand the overall sediment of the crypto market. And in my past experience, this indicator is fantastic at doing that and has been very accurate in the past. Now, the next piece of news I want to go over is the Fed hikes interest rates by a quarter point and hints at another increase this year. And why this is potentially a bad thing or a good thing for crypto it depends on your perspective. See, now most people want to see their crypto skyrocket. So you would probably view this as a bad thing. However, a lot of people view this as an opportunity because if crypto is not pumping, then you have a great time to continue accumulating. But anyways, interest rates, what does this mean? So basically, every single time the Fed hikes interest rates, they are slowing down economic growth. And a lot of people ask, why do they do that? Well, they do it to control inflation. But the reason that it hurts crypto and a lot of other markets is because people are a lot less incentivized to take out a loan from the bank. Because if you take out a loan right now, you're going to have to pay back more money, which in turn could deter you from taking out a loan. So I do want to be clear. I'm not saying that this is extremely bearish for crypto or anything, but barring a catalyst of BlackRock's Bitcoin Bitcoin ETF getting accepted or something along those lines, I just don't really see crypto skyrocketing until the rates stop getting raised. As right now, they are intentionally slowing the growth of the economy, which is a natural move, but it's still happening. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, I'll go over a little bit of what Hedera Hashgraph actually is. According to CoinMarketCap, H4 is ranked 32nd among all cryptocurrencies. It's trading at a price point of just over 5 cents. It has a market cap of 1.7 billion, a max supply of 50 billion, and a circulating supply of 32.4 billion. That's about 65% 
cents in circulation. HBO reached its all-time high back in the 2021 bull market of 57 cents. It's currently down 90% since then. Hedera is the most used, sustainable, enterprise-grade public network for the decentralized economy that allows individuals and businesses to create powerful decentralized applications. So essentially, Hedera Hashgraph is a layer one project. However, it is not a blockchain. It runs on the Hashgraph consensus mechanism, which Hashgraph is a newer technology that was created in 2016 to have faster transaction speed and higher throughputs. Now, the biggest thing that stands out about Hedera Hashgraph is enterprise grade. HBAR is not built for your typical retail investors. They were designed for large companies, large institutions. They are designed to handle billions of transactions a day. And the founders of Hedera Hashgraph are Dr. Lehman Baird and Mance Harmon. And Dr. Lehman Baird is the one that created the Hashgraph consensus mechanism. And in my opinion, he's one of the smartest people in the crypto space. I watched an interview of him talking about how he intends to have HBAR protected from quantum computing. And the reality is quantum computing is not that far away. And once it is actually a part of our everyday lives, it will present a massive threat to a lot of current blockchains, a lot of current projects, as hackers will have access to computers that are significantly stronger than what is out right now. So it's a good thing to see that HBAR is already on top of quantum computing. Now, when you look at Hedera's website, powering native Web3 ecosystems and institutional applications for the next generation of the web. And that's another thing is that they're in the Web3 industry, which I think personally will be a big narrative in the next bull run. Now, HBAR has over 3 million mainnet accounts created. In just the last 24 hours, they've had 115 million transactions, coupled with a 5.64 second consensus finality, which to put things into perspective, Bitcoin could take up to two hours to be 99.976% sure that the transaction will not get reversed. H4 is 100% certain at 5.64 seconds, significantly faster. And they also have an average transaction cost of only a tenth of a penny. And the main reason so many people are bullish on Hedera Hashgraph is because of the governing council. They are connected to Dell Technologies, Chainlink Labs, Google, IBM, Shinhan Bank, Standard Bank, UCL, all kinds of very powerful connections. And I also want to show you guys HBAR's total transactions. Look at how fast they are growing. They're already at 15.7 billion total transactions. The last video I made about a week ago, they weren't even at 15 billion yet. And they're also handling over 1,200 transactions per second. Now, when you look at Hedera's Twitter, they have 301,000 followers. And would you look at that? They just posted nine seconds ago. In partnering with and sponsoring Barat Blockchain Yatra, HBAR will reaffirm its commitment to empowering developers and businesses to build innovative blockchain and DLT solutions that can benefit society through the use of HBAR. And that's funny because I was just about to talk about how HBAR continues to post every single day. And there they are, nine seconds ago. And 18 hours ago, the HBAR bull is trying to get the attention of Elon Musk, which as I'm sure you guys can imagine, if Elon Musk catches on to Hedera Hashgraph, watch out. So despite a bear market and hostile US regulatory regime, Hedera continues to show resilience. In quarter two, Hedera revenue increased 67% quarter over quarter, added its 29th council member, announced an EVM strategy, and saw increases in all network services. When I say that I have never seen a layer one project growing as fast as Hedera Hashgraph is growing, I mean that. It is incredible to witness. And on top of that, as he said here, this is happening during a bear market. Imagine what Hedera could be doing during a bull run. And it's also a great thing to see that Hedera is going to meetups and getting their name out there. Now for the final part of this video, let's play around with some numbers and let's see how many HBAR you would need to become a millionaire. So as we discussed, HBAR has a market cap of about 1.7 billion. If you look at XRP, it's about 37 billion. And then if you look at the market cap that Solana reached at its all-time high, 78.2 billion. Now, if you go to market cap of and you put HBAR in and you put XRP in, theoretically, if HBAR were to reach the market cap of XRP right now, it'd be trading at a price point of $1.15. That'd be about a 21X. Now, if HBAR reached this price, point. In order to become a millionaire, you would need 869,000 HBAR tokens. And now if you are a person that believes HBAR could reach the market cap of Solana at its all-time high, then HBAR would be sitting at a price point of $2.39 and that would be a 44x. And at that point, you would need 418,000 HBAR tokens to become a millionaire. Now, if you go to CoinGecko, they have a very cool feature here. You can type in the number of tokens you want and then it will give you a price point. So if it were to reach that XRP price point and you needed roughly eight. 869,000 tokens. That would cost you at the moment $46,730, which is a pretty good amount of money. And then if H4 were to reach the market cap of Solana at its all-time high and you needed 418,000 tokens, that would cost you about $22,477 right now. So in my opinion, the reality of H4 right now is you probably are not going to become a millionaire with H4 unless you already have a pretty large amount of money that you can invest. However, that does not change the fact that I still think it's a phenomenal investment. And I think it's risk to reward ratio is significantly better
better than most cryptos. As I personally think it's possible that it does reach Solana's all-time high market cap, which would be a 44X. And for a project that's 1.7 billion market cap, it's a lot safer than a lot of other projects. But these price predictions and numbers are just for educational purposes. Please do your own research into HBAR and come to your own conclusions. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments, how do you guys feel about HBAR next bull run? Please consider doing me a favor and hitting that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Hitting the ground, running, up and coming, ain't nothing. Yeah, rookie of the year, I'ma keep it 100. Cold-blooded, no budget, from nothing to something. I ain't bluffing, I got a full hand and a full plan. I ain't gonna stop till I'm at the top, man. Every single drop got me feeling awesome. I'm a